Okay, difference between an infiltration and an expedition. Infiltrations take place in a single man-made structure and involve methodical exploration for the purpose of taking photos. Expeditions, on the other hand, involve traveling long distances, usually for the purpose of finding sites, but sometimes just to follow a nature trail or find an alternate travel route for the sake of it. In this case, a combination of Google Maps and my own sources told me that there was an abandoned structure somewhere along the railroad. Seeing how this area didn't have much public foot traffic and was sort of close to nature, I felt it warranted its own mission. To be honest, I go on expeditions more often than infiltrations. After all, you can't really find these sites unless you look for them, and you won't necessarily find a new site every time. A patch of land. Is there a nice structure here? Uh, fucking winter. How does hell it has to get dark so quickly? I should be. Right, right on top of it. Was it really, does that really just a bare patch of concrete? So it's like casting shadows on a map. I could have sworn it was something. I guess Google Maps was out of date, because whatever building that used to be here had been demolished already. Yep. Right here. This fair patch of ground. Well, I'll try and link up with the abandoned railroad, see if that leads anywhere. Then I have to get back. I wish if I'd gone earlier, then I could have checked out the rest of the Don Valley. Fun fact that bare patch of land from where I took pictures of the train used to be the site of the abandoned Canadian Pacific Police Station. It shows up on Google Maps and Street View, but the last photos of this place were taken in 2021. Therefore, the satellite image for this area was updated in 2021 at the very latest. I assume that the building I was looking for was probably demolished around the same time as the police station, 